All right, guys, today we're going to go ahead and continue breaking down uh, the head and shoulder for you guys today. So make sure you guys take notes when I draw, you draw. That's a must, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get into it today. I'm going to I am going to break down um, buys and sells. So the exp I'm, I'm going to try to flow through the explanation. Um, if you guys get caught up at any point or you guys need me to um, slow down or if you guys have any questions, please unmute. Right. Please unmute. So let's go ahead. Now, on this left hand side, I'm going to try to um, break down the chart as simple as possible and try to fit it in both sides. Right. So I'm going to try to get it in here. Now, on this left hand side, we're going to be looking for sales. Right. When the market is downtrending, guys, when the market is literally downtrending, we should be looking for sales, guys. Right. Can we ping pong? Yes, we can ping pong. You guys can do anything you guys want to do. Right. In the markets, there's going to be buys, uh, buys and there's going to be sales on multiple time frames. So if you guys are watching the pairs, you guys can do anything y'all want as long as you are sticking to the confirmations. Right. But for me, I would rather skip ping ponging and just continue writing sales. Right. Like that's just my opinion. Right. I used to ping pong a lot, but I realized I was in the market literally every day trying to, you know, bounce back and forth. And I found it much easier when you just ride the continuation. Keeps you out of the markets every day, keeps you less stressed. And that's honestly why I did it as well. Looking at it um, at a, with the psychological level, you know, with the mind state. Uh, if I'm, I'm going to be looking for ping pongs all the time, right? I'm, I'm going to be uh, buying here. I'm looking to sell here, looking to buy here, looking to sell here. If I'm doing that, that's get, putting me at a stressful level every day because I'm trying to be as perfect as possible. Buying in this level, selling in this level, buying in this level, and selling in this level. When... If we just uh, continue following the trend, we can literally find entries and just continue writing these things, right? Let's just say we had um, a lower low broken here. We get break a we get a break of structure, and we could possibly just continue looking. So for me personally, I'm not really looking to ping pong, right? I'm just looking to continue with that trend. Does that make sense, guys? Give me one if that makes sense. Awesome. Awesome. Again, if you guys have questions at any time, please unmute. Right. So let's go ahead. The market is downtrending. So let's go. Awesome. So the market's downtrending. Cool. Now, so one thing that we need to see, guys, is consolidation, right? Consolidation, that's going to help, right? It's going to help a lot. So when we see consolidation, guys, that's going to be 25% of the setup. Now we know that we just got to break a structure here, right? BOS to the downside. So if we got to break a structure to the downside, this is letting me know we should be looking to continue with the sales, right? Give me a three if that makes sense. If we're getting a break of structure, the break of structure is letting us know the market wants to continue into this downtrend. So we should start looking for sales now, right? So when we're able to see consolidation, guys, consolidation is 25 percent of the setup i'm just going to put a, a i'm just going to box it up the consolidation is 25 percent of the setup when it comes to the head and shoulder i like how um shout out to geo i like how geo boxes up his consolidation really like that actually right so the consolidation is going to be 25% of the setup, 25%. I'm just going to put this right here, right? Now, again, guys, we know, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We know that this right here, consolidation is liquidity, right? Consolidation, support and resistance. All that good stuff, guys, all that is liquidity. So when you're seeing the market actually stop just trending down and it's starting to move sideways now, right? That sideways is consolidation and that is liquidity being built. Now, liquidity, guys, is pretty much an area where a money is being um, 
um, built in this specific area, right? So people are selling off of resistance and people are buying off of support. Does this make sense, guys? Give me a two if that makes sense, right? People are selling at resistance and people are buying at support. So there is money being built up literally inside of this box. Now, the banks, guys, they do this on purpose, right? They do this on purpose because they want people to play within this zone and they're going to manipulate them and hit their stop losses, right? Now, again, when the market is going down, guys, we would like to see the banks push up. It doesn't always happen, but when we're looking for the head and shoulder, this is what we're looking for, right? We would like to see the banks push up and clear some of this sell side liquidity, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of the tools. Right? The banks are the rockets, okay? Because they control the market. Let's see. Can I get another one? All right, let's make these a little bigger. All right, back. there we go. All right, the banks are coming in, guys. The banks are coming in. Boom, the banks just drove this price up, right? The banks just drove this price up. So that just means everybody who was trying to sell right here at this area, guys, they just got their stop loss hit, right? They just got their stop loss hit. So these guys are, are done, right? Now, as the banks just drove price, you guys got to think about this, right? The banks just drove price right here. The banks just drove this price up right here, which means they just bought right here, right? The banks, think about this, guys. The banks just bought right here and, and pushed price up, right? Now, they did that so they can get a better entry, right? If everybody is entering right here, where is the better entry? If everybody is entering right here, guys, the better entry would be pushing the price up a little bit higher, right? And then pushing it right back down. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a three if that makes sense. So they're letting everybody play within this within this area. And then what they're going to do is they're going to jack the price up higher and get themselves in a better position than everybody else. Right? And then what happens? As soon as, oops. As soon as they get a good position, they turn right back around and they start selling the market. Boom. 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 Awesome. Now look at this. Everybody who was buying in this area, guys, they also just got their stop loss hit. So if they didn't take profit and if they were being greedy, it is what it is, right? You have to take profit. Now look at this, guys. If the banks just drove price up right here, right? The banks bought right here. Understand they also sold right here. Boom. They sold. They put themselves in a better position than 99% of everybody trading. Right? Does that make sense, guys? They just sold right here. Now, when we're looking at this, right, we need to mark it. We need to mark this up. Right? When we're able to see a liquidity sweep, right? When we're able to see a liquidity sweep, this is going to be considered my breaker structure. my break of structure, my liquidity sweep, and my left shoulder. Now we'll keep that, we'll keep that the way it was. Right, does that make sense, guys? Give me an eight if that makes sense. When we get this nice push up and we can see that we have a break of structure to the upside, this is going to be break of structure, liquidity sweep and left shoulder right now when we um break and close below continuing back down this area this is going to be my change of character to the downside boom so you can see this is how we get the pattern guys we have a shoulder the head and then we change character right away, giving us the head and shoulder pattern. Does that make sense, guys?
Give me an eight if that makes sense. Right now, where are we looking to take some cells? Where are we looking to take some cells? Right where we have this break of structure, guys, this is going to be our zone. Right? This is going to be our cell zone. Right? Now, where's our stop loss? Our stop loss is always going to be the high. Right? The head. Right? And it'll literally say levels has a little section right here where you, if you click BOS, it'll literally tell you, hey, this is the head. And then when you see that, you have to think stop loss. Right, because the head's going to be your stop loss, guys. It's going to help you out a ton. That works. Actually, let's just put it over here. Boom. Now, when we get this break of structure to the upside, guys, that's going to be 50% of the setup. Boom. 50%. Now, when we change character and the market starts heading down, this is going to be 75% of the setup. Now, this is a good thing. Once we get 75%, we're, we can now look for that sell opportunity off of the shoulder, right? So that's a good thing. So I want to go ahead and look at sales in this area with my stop loss at the high with the minimum one to three risk to award, guys. Minimum one to three risk to award. Now, once the market comes back this way into this right shoulder, this is going to be 100%. And this is now my right shoulder. Boom. Right. So, guys, I need this right shoulder, right? Left shoulder, head. When the market gives me that 75% and this change of character, we can now start looking for that right shoulder. And I want it to come back and give me an even right shoulder with this one, right? And I'm looking to sell the market back down, right? Does that make sense, guys? So we're waiting right now. We still haven't entered any trades at the moment. We are waiting for sales in this area. So when the market wants to come back up and do its thing, we are going to go ahead and take some sell opportunities once the market comes into the zone. So we can go ahead and shift that market back down. Right. And again, once we get that right shoulder, that's 100% of that play. 100% of that play, guys. Right. Give me a, give me a two if that is making sense. Now, you guys got to think about this, right? Now, look at the, the banks bought right here in this area, guys. The banks bought right here in this area. Text. Right. The banks bought right here. And the banks hardly lose, hardly lose, right? If they if they even lose, right? So you guys got to think about this. When the, the banks just bought right here in this area, and then right away, they sold right here in this area. So one trade is in profit, and then one trade is in negative, right? When they sell this market down, it's starting to shoot down. My sell, well, their sell, their sell is in profit and their buy now starts to become a negative because look, they pretty much bought right at this line, right? So as soon as price drops below their entry, this buy for them is now in negative. Give me a, a one if that makes sense. Right? Banks bought right here. And then they sold right here in this area. So their sell is deep in profit, right? And their buy is now in negative. So what we're looking to do is we want the banks to make that U-turn, right? Make that U-turn and come back and pick us up. Now, when they make that U-turn, they're going to go ahead, push themselves a little bit into profit, right? Because remember, they bought right at this line. So they're going to push themselves a little bit into profit, Come give me that right shoulder. And then they're going to go ahead and close out all those trades that they bought, bought, bought. And they're going to start putting it into more sales and shift that market down. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a 10 if that makes sense. 
because the banks aren't going to lose and they're hardly going to break even. They're in this money to make money. So even if they they push their the price just a couple pips above their entry, right? They're trading with trillions of dollars. So trust me, trust me, uh, 20, 40 pips with a trillion, you know, trillion dollars, you're probably getting a couple mil off that, you know, let's be realistic. So understand guys, we're looking at this for a specific reason. Right. And I'm breaking this down to you for a specific reason. Right. Does anybody have any questions regarding this before I go ahead and continue with the bias? Let me know. Are we good to continue? If we're good to continue, type in or unmute and say continue. And trust me, like if you draw this out and you and you and you are able to ask questions and you get your questions answered. When we go to the live charts and you see this, you're going to like, holy snap, I can see it, right? It doesn't look like anybody is responding. So we're going to go ahead and continue right now. Oh man, kind of wanted to fit in for, um, a, a, a YouTube pick, but it's all good. We'll get this real quick. We'll get this going. Make sure you guys um, take a screenshot of this, guys, because this is going to be helpful for you guys. Trust me. If you guys didn't draw this out, make sure you guys take a screenshot of this because where's my downtrend? All right. We'll put that right there. Come on, my boy. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Take a screenshot, guys. Get that. Put that in your notes. Draw this out. Trust me, guys. Like, draw this out. It's not too corny to draw this out, right? If you want to make some money in the markets and be able to stay consistent, guys, take the notes and draw things out, right? I hope you guys are able to take, uh, take a screenshot. Let's go ahead and hop on this side. So now... On this side, this side will be able to move a little bit faster because we're pretty much doing the same exact thing, um, but, you know, upside down. Um, uptrend by, uh, oh, what did I do? It is. Uptrend equals buys. Thank you, Will. Appreciate you, bro. See, Will always coming in clutch, bro. He's thinking five steps ahead. That's why I fuck with that guy. All right, uptrend, right? When the market is heading up, Boom. Market is heading up. We should be looking for buys. And again, I'm not really looking to ping pong this, right? You can. You totally can as long as you're following the confirmations. But if the market is continuing to go up, guys, right? For me, I would rather just, you know, stray, stay stress-free, trying to worry about every single move I can possibly catch and just continue with where the market is going, right? So if I'm able to catch continuations, boom, that's what I'm going to do. Right. I'm focused on continuing in the direction that the market is moving. Right. And guys, trust me, when you guys start to do this and sit back on your hands and you guys start to see, because a lot of you guys and trust me, I did this a lot, too. Like, I, I know you guys do this because I did this. I thought every head and shoulder I saw right here was the one that was swinging. Trust me. I thought that was the one, bro. I thought those the head and shoulders right here. In that area, I thought those things were the truth. Like those are the ones. Don't get me wrong. A lot of them hit. But when you focus on higher time frame and you focus on the trend and you and you stay out of the markets a little bit and, and you guys watch things go down, you guys start to have a different understanding to be like, oh man, bro. I'm counter trend trading way too much, like way more than I should be. You know, I should just be continuing with that direction. Right. So Let's go ahead and, and break this down. So as the market is uptrending, boom, the heck, am I tripping? As the market is uptrending, right, we get this break of structure, awesome, right? Once we get this break of structure, guys, this is letting us know that the market wants to continue up, right? The market wants to go ahead and continue up now. So we should start looking for buys, 
right? We should start looking for buys. Now, again, consolidation. This helps us a lot, guys. This helps us a ton, right? When we're able to spot this, this lets us know that something is happening, right? Something is coming. And again, 25%, right? The consolidation is 25%. So let's go ahead and, and put that right there again. Right, 25%. Now, with the inverted head and shoulder and an uptrend, we would like to see the market sweep liquidity to the downside and continue moving in that upward movement, right? So when that happens, guys, when the market comes below and sweeps all these buyers, because again, when you guys see support and resistance, people are, are buying at support, right? People are buying right here at support and selling at resistance, right? People are selling in this area right here. Right. Does that make sense? So when the market drops down, mm -hmm. let's see, we'll throw one more right here. Shoot this market back down. Market's dropping. Market's dropping. Oh, man, got my way. Get out of my way. Market's dropping. Market's doing its thing, right? Again, we're expecting this already, guys. We're looking for the market to do this. Awesome. All right, we'll keep it like this. Tighten that up a little bit because I know y'all going to be like, it's a stop loss and a half. All right, so look at this, guys. Market just hit the buyer's stop loss. So boom, these guys are now out of it. They are not playing no more. They are not no longer trading. But what did that give us? That just gave us a break of structure to the downside, right? Let's see. A BOS to the downside, a sweep of liquidity, and my left shoulder. Now, when we get that break of structure to the downside, guys, that's going to be 50%, right? We need things to happen in order, right? We can't rush things. And when we find ourselves rushing things, guys, we have to ask ourselves, do, do we have every confirmation, right? Because if we don't, you could be rushing things. Right now, again, the banks just sold right here, guys. Keep in mind. Keep in mind, the banks just sold right here in this area, right? And what are they going to do? They're going to go ahead and jack the prices back up and they're going to buy right here in this area, right? They just gave themselves a better discounted price, right? Everybody was buying right here. So what do the banks do? Everybody's buying right here. Everybody's buying right here. Everybody's buying right here. The banks jack the price down to give them a better entry than 99% of the traders out there, right? And then they jack the prices back up, boom, shifting it. Shifting it, going, it's going, it's going, boom, boom, it's gone, right? Market's doing its thing. Now, when we get that, guys, when we get that change of character, that's 75%. Now, once we get 75%, fam, it's go time. We are now looking to continue with these buys. Cool. Now, my entry, guys, my entry, again, I'm looking to use this break of structure area. So this break of structure is very important. You mark up your charts like this, because when you can't find your shoulder, I know you didn't mark it up because when you can see liquidity in the liquidity sweep, when you can see the banks, let us trade the support and resistance. They're not us, other people. When they're, the banks are letting support and resistance traders trade, right, that's a good sign. But when they break structure to the downside and sweep everybody buying, guys, mark that up because that's going to be your left shoulder in the future, right? So, again, I'm looking to buy here. 
Now my stop loss, my stop loss will be this low. And again, this is going to be the hit. My stop loss. Oh, man. Boom. Awesome. Now, check me out, guys. I know I want to buy here. I know where I want to put my stop loss with the minimum one to three risk to award. Right? Minimum one to three risk to award. Now, again, guys, understand what is happening right now. Right? Understand what is happening right now. We just got the banks selling right here in this area. We got the banks buying right here in this area. There are they have two trades open right now. They have two trades open right now. Right? Their buy is in profit and their sell is in negative. Remember, the banks sold right at this line. So once the market goes above this black line, their sell is in negative. So what we would like to what we would like to happen, right? is we would like the banks to come back into this area because the banks hardly lose, if ever. So what we would like to happen is we want the banks to come back below where they sold so they can go ahead and exit their trade, and we would like them to come right into this area and then go ahead and reject so we can go ahead and ride that wave back up. Does that make sense, guys? This is what we're looking for in the market. Again, remember, once they go below this black line, guys, once they go, I'm not, I'm not tripping right now. Once they go below this black line, their sell is now back into profit. So they can look to exit whenever and put all their money that they were selling here into this buy and start shifting the market back up. Does that make sense, guys? Give me an eight if that makes sense. Let me know, fam. Xander, what's up, bro? All right, take a picture of this, guys. Make sure you guys have this on you, right? Put this in your notes, fam. This is going to help you guys out. Trust me. I know you might not, it might not seem like you're right now. You guys might have not taken the notes right now, and that's okay, right? I'm going to put this video on my YouTube, right? I want you guys to look over these videos and take the notes and have them on you. Because they, these notes, guys, they help you when you're trading live, right? Trading is an open book test. So you want to take good detailed notes, right, guys? So make sure you guys, let's see if I can make this a little bit. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get. Make sure you guys take a screenshot of that. Three, two, one. Benny getting the name right. Uh, this time yes sir sorry about that bro <laughs> sorry about it. i'm i'm horrible with names but shoot thanks for being patient with me big dog but guys are we ready for the live charts now let me know let me know are we ready for live charts let's go ahead and take a look are you guys looking at anything specific this week anything specific guys they gans last week they did they did solid, right? Check me out. They did solid work. Look at this, guys. Why did the, why did the why did USD JP or why reject so hard right here? Oh snap. Look at me go. Why did USD JPY reject so hard right here? Right? I believe this was news last week. I'm not mistaken. But why did USD JPY reject so hard? Guys, anytime we look at the chart, we can't just be focused right here, right? That's a misconception that we all have, right? And we all had at, at when we first got started in our trading journey that we can get all the answers that we need right here. That's wrong, guys. We should always be looking to the past history to see what kind of opportunities we can be getting into, right? So let's look left. Now, boom, check me out, guys. Check me out. Look at this structure that we got right here. 
right? Check me out. We're getting breakage structures to the upside. BOS, right? Again, mark this up, right? It's important you, you guys mark this up like this. You guys can understand. We get breakage structure. And the market is doing this over and over again, right? We, we can see this. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. Higher high. Now, once the market gives me this change of character, guys, it's game time, right? Once we get this change of character, it's game time. So boom, the market breaks and closes below. Awesome. That's good. Remember, break is structure is what? The break is, or the consolidation is 25% of the setup, right? I'm just box it up. This right here is 25% of the setup. The break is structure to the upside, 50%. Right. Once we break and close below this box, once we break and close below this box, 75%. And we can now start looking for sales. Now, again, where are we starting to look for sales, guys? Where is our sale opportunity? If anybody wants to go ahead and annotate on my chart and let me know where should I put my shoulder, let me know. Yes, Maria. Right, right here from wick to body. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom in so I can show you guys how it's done. Now, you see this high wick right here, guys? That's the highest wick in that area. So that's the highest wick, right? Uh, we look for the highest wick, and we pull it down to the closest body, right? So, boom, highest wick. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to pull this box down till it touches a body candle, right? So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Looks like it's going to be this, right? Boom. That's my shoulder zone. And I'm going to stretch this out and, and move this all the way to the right-hand side. Boom. So that's my left shoulder right here. Now my head. Where's my head, guys? Where's my stop loss? Who wants to let me know? Let's get active. Let's get active. Let's go, so. Let's go. Let's go, Maria. Let's go. That's my stop loss. Right, so boom, guys, check me out. Sometimes it doesn't give it to you right away. Right, so, and most of the time, we want it to happen just like this. Left shoulder, head, change of character. We want it so bad for market. We want the market to come back up and give me that sell right away. Guys, sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Sometimes it'll let you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and it'll it'll go so far down it'll go so far down you they want you to forget about this area right here they don't want you to remember this area they want you to see this this is what they want you to see they want you to see this push up because why what happens when you load up a chart this is what this is the only thing you can see right here that's it that's all you can see but when you back up and you're like, oh, snap, I know why it's going back up. I know why it's heading back up because I need a right shoulder. I need the market to come back and give me a sell right here. So if you guys were looking at USDJPY or any of any of the yens, they all rejected off of the same zone. One to three smacked. One to three smacked. Now, if the market really wants to continue heading in that bearishness that the yen's had the past uh, month or two, this can can, uh, can continue down to a one to six trade. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know, guys. Let me know. Oh, what time would you recommend for levels like the one hour or 30 minute? Or it's your personal preference. It's the personal preference, bro. Right, levels is set up to help you out on any time frame, whether you're a scalper on the one minute, swinger on the monthly, right? Levels will have these arrows right here. See these arrows? Right? These arrows, they help you find breakouts. Boom. Breakout. The arrow is pointing to the candle that broke out. And when you match that color to this box, it's going to give you a supply zone or a demand zone right demands are buys and supplies are sells so it'll help you find these plays on every time frame and obviously it's only calling starting points which are supply and demand but 
when you keep on hopping onto myself and Orland's calls, we are going to start finding, you know, that structure within, you know, the structure within, you know, everything, you know, the structure within the structure per se, right? If that makes sense. But yeah, you can find it on any time frame. Uh, Xander, you said top with the question mark. What does that mean, bro? Um, exactly. Yes, sir. Outcast, got you, bro. Boom. And we can actually, we can possibly be having a continuation sell, right? If the market, um, if the yen stay bearish, you know, market gave us another opportunity. This trade is already done. It's a winner. We literally had the same thing happen right here, right? Market gives us a break of structure. BOS to the upside. Break of structure. Look at this. It happens again. Consolidation, right? Break of structure. Consolidation. Break of structure. So we get another one. Then look at, check me out. We have a change of character right here. So this whole thing is 25%. <clears throat> now, again, remember our shoulders right here from this area. So let's go ahead and find that zone one more time. The highest wick. Where's the highest wick in the area, guys? I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Where is the highest wick in this area? Who wants to go ahead and draw that line for me? Where should I start my box? Right here in this area. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my box out. I'm going to put it on the highest wick. Boom. Looks like it was this one. Now I'm going to pull my box down to the closest body. All right. So let's go ahead. Pull it down. Pull it down. Which one looks like it's going to be this right here. Boom. That's my shoulder zone right there. Right, my stop loss. Where's my stop loss, guys? If you're looking at this setup specifically, where's my stop loss? Who wants to annotate? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Maria. Let's go, Xander. Right here in this area. Boom. So the market is on its way. Now, what time frame is this? Four hour time frame. Four hour time frame looks um pretty bullish in this in this specific area. Right, so maybe if you want to stay cautious, right, you don't want to play the first touch, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and drop down. So we can see right here, um, we have market structure breaking down. And again, guys, every time frame, right? We were on the four, now we're breaking it down to the one hour. Break the structure. Right, the more time frames you can get, the better. Break the structure. Break a structure right here. So boom. Market can market can continue up higher. Break a structure. Consolidation. Break a structure, right? Once the market breaks and closes, this box breaks and closes below this box. We can now start looking for sell opportunities. Does that make sense, guys? So maybe you don't play the first touch just because you're like, oh, the four hour looks kind of green, you know. We could still start heading back up. Well, if that's the case, totally fine. I hear you 100%, right? And it looks like if you're looking like uh, on the one hour, level is saying, hey, we have a red arrow right here. Our, our starting point's a little higher, right? So the market can still come way up here and sell off actually. So there's no need to rush into this sell setup, right? As long as we understand what we're looking for, we can get in right here, right? And instead of our stop loss being something like this, where, you know, that's kind of big for some people. And I understand, you know, I, I totally get that. So if that's, you know, too big of a stop loss for you, let me, it's only, um, how many pips is that? It's only 147, 147 pips. It's not very much, right? I mean, a lot of people are risking that on, on indices. And you have started for shout. No, nah, but I totally get it, right? So if that's too big, we can focus on the setup that's right here and use this stop loss like that and continue down. Does that make sense, guys? Now, again, we can wait for this throughout the market, right? If the market wants to go ahead and continue up, hey, we have to stay patient, right? We have to stay patient. There's nothing we can do when 
you know, the market is kind of uptrending in this in this specific area, right? So what we have to do is just stay patient and just wait for these things to play out. And that's why I break up the head and shoulder and smart money concepts into quarters because you need, you literally need to wait for these specific things to happen, right? Does that make sense, guys? Give me an eight if that makes sense for you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But sales here, they look pretty good. I mean, this is a huge ass inbounds and the markets on for the JPYs. I mean, they they look fairly bearish right now. Most of them are already broken close or took liquidity on, on some monthly time frames. So, I mean, you know, it's looking pretty crazy. It's looking pretty crazy. We, we, we may be able to catch some sell continuations. Um, Let's go back up. I'm, oh man, I was still waiting for this area right here, but it looks like it barely missed in that time frame. Did we touch that right there? Oh my goodness, it missed. If the market comes up here, guys, I'm totally selling. But we'll see. We have to wait. Obviously, it's in this area right now. But that's why I'm saying like we can stay patient, right? Because me personally. I know we can possibly get sales in this area, right? Like I, I, I totally know we can, but I would love to see if we can actually get sales way up here, right? Way up here. I, I, I like that to be honest. And again, the, the longer you wait for a setup, guys, I feel like it's more quality. You know, it's higher quality, right? So just keep that in mind. So I'm not rushing anything with the ends to be to be honest. Uh, is there anything specific you guys want me to look at? Let's go to look at Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin been up to? Indices are setting up for the next move. They look pretty good actually. If if you follow, um, I mean you guys should be following Will. I hope you guys are all into the levels uh, into the Nas chat, but he's been breaking down. NAS literally every single day, right? And it's setting up for the next buy and it looks pretty good, right? So I hope you guys are, are tapped in. Let's go to the monthly time frame or I guess the weekly. Dang, this this weekly looks pretty good and it, it kind of looks like it's starting to ready to head out now. So we had a starting point in this area. Now, again, on this time frame, the chain the the last liquidity sweep was right here. So this wasn't a break of structure on the weekly time frame, but I'm still going to label it because that's what I see it as, right? Left shoulder. Now, my change of character on the weekly is right here. But, I mean, if you're thinking that BTC is ready to go, like if that's what your thought is, your thought process is, um, you have to make sure you guys are looking for at least specific buy zones if you guys do think that. Um, at least I see a one last sell zone right here in this area that we can possibly reject off of um, and continue down on that bearish movement because, again, um, Bitcoin, I know it, we're all waiting. Everybody's been waiting for that next bullish run, but technically we're still in bearish momentum, right? So if can sit here, we can still... It's staying my connection is unstable. So if you guys, is it good? Are you guys all good? You guys can hear me still? Yes, yeah, sir. So far, so good. All right, cool. Appreciate you. Um, if market rejects, we can still continue down and possibly get some um, better entries when it comes to uh, Bitcoin. But I mean, we don't know, right? It, it can possibly happen still because it is still in bearish territory in this specific area. But again, let's just focus on the structure, right? So if you are someone who's like investing weekly with like $20 here, $20 there, whatever the case may be, because I do know some of you guys are. I know like Coinbase has things where you can go ahead and like invest weekly, things like that. So um, if you guys are, totally understand. But just make sure you guys are looking at pop, like really good zones, right? Really good buy zones. Right here, this is a starting point in this specific area. And we also have a starting point in this specific area. All right. So we can still possibly head back up right here. We can still do its thing and, and continue back up higher. So just keep in mind. Let's go to the one hour, four hour real quick. 
Squire doesn't say much right there. All right, so the one hour. This is what I'm seeing right here. We have market continuing to throw wicks down lower. And then we have a low, this is the lowest wick right now, right? So again, this wouldn't really be a break of structure to the downside of more of a liquidity sweep. But if we can change character right here, we can possibly get some more bullish momentum for BTC USD to continue up, right? So just make sure you guys are waiting for specific things, right? Again, this whole area right here is 25%. That wick, 50%. We need 75. We need this. We need that break and close above so we can go ahead and start shifting the market back higher. Um, let's go ahead and look at some indices because the indices look pretty good right now, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff. Um, this looks a little different than on Trading View. Let me see. Yeah, it looks a little different on Trading View. On uh, Trading View, there's a specific section like right here um, that looks a little better. Uh, let's see. Let's go there, actually. All right, this yellow box is a fib. I'll just see if we can get rejections. Um, but let's go ahead and continue in this area right here. So let's, see, let's move this out the way. Yo. Dang, is this move? Oh, no. How do I go full screen, bro? There we go. All right, so in this specific area right here, this, in my opinion, looked a whole, whole lot more like a head and shoulder because look this is more like equal lows right so this can't be a shoulder if this is an equal low so where's the liquidity at the liquidity is right here this is all the consolidation that was swept all the consolidation that was swept and then we continued higher so that right shoulder boom we had a nice rejection off of that this morning and we shifted the market back up higher right but look look at that one hour time frame Boom, right? We can see we get a clean break of structure to the downside. Actually, it's not even a break of structure. That's more of a liquidity sweep, right? It's mainly a wick. And then we right away, next candle, literally within two hours. We One hour down, next hour is right back up. And now we're consolidating. So in the morning, we could possibly get that shift back down to come pick me up in this right shoulder area. And then we can shift the market back up. Does that make sense, guys? Will, are you looking at something similar? What are you looking at, bro? It's pretty similar or no? Yes, sir. That that exact area, bro. Awesome. Um, on the this is a one hour. So again, the one hour time frame is this is the big ass uh starting point. But if you want to drop down to the 30 minute, um, is it M30? Let's go 30. Um, uh, okay, the let's see, let's move this out the way right here. I think it was a 15. Yeah, I just moved it to the 15 minute. Let's see. That's the 15 minute starting point. And then when I bring it back up to the one hour, I think I just stretched it out to the top of this one hour right here. So yeah, I'm not really worried about the wick because I know that low wick is my stop loss at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really worried about anything below the starting point and uh, that shoulder. But I, I would be, I am looking to continue higher. And again, I know a lot of people, this this can be you know a pretty big stop loss for you. That's already 230, 225 pips. That's why I'm saying, like, you know, sometimes a forex pair is like 80 pips or 100 pips. It's not really much because of indices. You know, if you're trading how I trade, this is how I trade, right? So if you're trading like this, you're risking a little bit, right? One to three would take these highs, which is fire. I would love to continue with that bullish trend. But again, if this is too big of a stop loss for you, I totally understand. Let's wait for the market to come down right in the morning for New York, right? Let's we have to look for these things. Market's dropping down. Awesome. Where's my consolidation? Boom. Last spike down. We get the reverse. Guys, when you guys see this, oh my goodness. 
when you guys see this, it's game time. Right? When you guys see this, it's game time. So you guys can be as patient as you want. It's okay to stay patient, guys. Right? Whether you want to test trade it, that's what I do. When it's a big stop loss like this, I test trade them. And then as soon as we get the spike down, I'm like, okay, 50%. Where's my 75%? It may take some time. You know how it do. It may do some stuff like this, whatever the case may be. But as soon as we get that spike back up, y'all know. Like, I mean, you, you guys watch the charts with Will. You guys are on there with Mike. You guys, you guys can see this, right, in the morning. So when we see that happening, boom, let's go ahead and take some opportunities off of this area right here. Shift that market back up with my stop loss like this. And again, this is a drawing, so it's still like 140 pips. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. And again, I, I would still love to continue with taking these highs. So that's already a one to three and a half with the drawing, you know. So, but that's what, in retrospect, I'm thinking ahead tomorrow that this is what I want to see, right? Does that make sense? This is what I want to see, and I want to see this with all the indices. So if I go down, this is NAS 100. Right. Why, why why am I looking for buys in this area? Well, let's take a look. Look at this. Look at this. Literally, it repeated itself. Lower low, lower high, lower low, massive wick reversed. Consolidation. Where's my shoulder at? Right there. Consolidation. Right shoulder reversed. So I have another right shoulder right here in this area. So market, it gave a little bit of trouble, but it continued with its rejection. I believe this is like a daily or four-hour starting point. We could delete that. Um, again, it gave some trouble. And again, this is why you don't always have to be the first one in, especially with toxic pairs like indices and commodities. Like it's okay, guys. Trust me. Like I don't, I'm sometimes I'm not the first one in. So I don't expect you to be the first one in. You feel me? Uh, but again, this is the one hour time frame. Again, the starting point starts at the very, very top. If we drop down to the 15, um, yeah, the starting point is way down here. Where's the 30 minute at? Is it a little bigger? That's the same, right? So no worries. I'm still looking for uh I'm still looking for buys down in this area, regardless. So we have consolidation, the massive sweep of liquidity. This wouldn't be considered a break of structure because we don't have a body below this area but this is a nice wick nice clear liquidity and then we go ahead and re and change direction right so now that we got this this is awesome i'm now looking for buys in this area and everything uh, same rules apply right same rules uh, apply for all three setups right same rules apply for all three setups i'm looking to buy in this area my stop loss at the low minimum one to three risk to award but I wouldn't mind taking some highs, or at least to the next possible, possible sell. At least right here, right? Quarterly sweep. That's a one to five and a half again. Now again, seventy pips between a hundred to seventy pips may be a lot for you. I understand, bro. I understand, sis. Watch the structure. Mark it up. This is why we learn. This is why we take notes. Because when you can identify everything you need to see, consolidation, last push down. We get that 75, boom, let's go ahead and take this setup right there. So maybe we don't take this first one right here. Maybe we don't take it. That's totally fine. But when we're able to go ahead and watch this setup right here play out, I mean, we may have not caught the first one, but you can't miss that second one, guys. Right? We can't be too, too page. Like, you know, once if, we, if we're not cashing this one and market gives us a second opportunity, Hey, it's it's time to buckle up and start playing. This is where we want to go ahead and get in. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know. And again, this is for all three indices right here. This is what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and drop down to SPX now. Um, again, this there was a starting point right here in this area, right, which was holding it down for a minute. It was just building liquidity for for a long time. Obviously, the market swept that with this crazy wick and then shot the price back up. So we never even broke and closed below. And I was actually like, well, shoot, it might actually change character. You know, we might actually start looking for sales now. And nope, we never broke and closed below. This is why these alarms are so clutch. Look at this. 
once per bar close crossing down. So the market price is way down here looking like this. Right, price is way down here looking like this. A whole a whole ass shred candle looking like this. But I didn't get notified and I wasn't looking for sales because we never got this alarm to break. This alarm is specifically for a break and close below the black line, right? So now that it crawled back up, shoot, I wasn't notified until you broke and closed above this. So I was like, oh, shoot, all right. So we're not looking for sales. We're actually looking for, for bots. So we can actually delete that. Um, let's actually control the everything real quick. Awesome. Now, again, everything, everything applies, guys. Consolidation. right banks um drove that price down to give them a better entry and then shot the price right back up so i'm looking to take some buys off of this area now this is the whole one hour starting point let's drop it down to the 15 minute looks like the 15 minute is right here in this area which is pretty good let me put an alarm i put an alarm for these ones too all right yeah all right you go back up to the one hour And yes, guys, looking for this, looking for buy setups. Stop loss at this low. And again, everything applies. If this stop loss is too big for you, right? If the stop loss is too big for you, that's okay. Right? That's okay. Let's wait for our confirmations. Let's wait for the market to go ahead and give us everything that we need to see. So once we see the consolidation, guys, that's perfect. Once we get that spike down, 50% of the setup, let it change character, right? Let it break and close above the consolidation. And once we get that time, guys, once we get that, guys, it's game time. Like, I know sometimes you want to get as many confirmations as possible, but once we get this rejection and market gives us a second entry, guys, we, we can't be spectators for all these setups. We have to start jumping in, right? We have to start taking advantage of the plays that the market has given us, right? Does that make sense, guys? Let me know. These are the two, these are the three plays that I'm mainly looking for tomorrow, to be honest. All the pairs are not really looking as hot um, as, as, as I thought. Um, the only pairs that are looking really good uh, for sales possibly tonight or tomorrow are the yens, um, in my opinion. Um, but right here, this these are the plays that I'm looking for right now. And if trust me, guys. If the, mar if the market continues up higher, right? If the market continues up higher and it shoots up, that's okay, guys. We will wait for this area, right? And again, if the market shoots up, let's wait because we have a trader's lock-in on October 9th with pretty heavy news. So if the market comes way up here, we can possibly get an entry way down here in the future right so it's okay guys if the market doesn't come down tomorrow we stay patient and just continue to look for new setups right but does that, anybody have any questions guys before i get out of here for tonight any questions any questions yes i have one question really what's up um, um you know you know in the, i think the last one i think it also can apply to this one you know when you say like Uh, it when it breaks the box, when it breaks the box, um, uh, is that where your your entry point is at? I'm not sure what you said. I guess I was taking notes, but yeah. Okay, so you're talking about. Let's just zoom in real quick. So you're talking about this right here, right? Let's just say we're in this box. Is that what you're talking about? Is is that what you're talking about, bro? When when markets inside of here. Oh, that's sorry. Them. I was on mute. Yeah, that that's the one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So when the market mm -hmm. breaks to the downside and we get this push down, that's that fifty percent of the setup, right? So when we yeah. get this and you're able to see, oh snap, we just got to break a structure to the downside, mm -hmm. break a structure, break a structure in, right? We're, we these we, these should all be labeled on the way down. Break okay. a structure. Break a structure. Break a structure. Break a structure because once we get the market to break and close above this box and we get yeah. that change of character to the upside, mm -hmm. we can now use this break a structure zone for buys. Perfect. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. That makes yes. more sense. Oh.
Thank you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, so once you mark this up, all you mm -hmm. have to do is wait for that change of character, and you can now use it like this. Okay. I'm mainly drawing this box so you understand that this consolidation is 25% mm -hmm. of the setup. 20%, yeah. Does that make sense, bro? Yeah, it does, brother. Thank you. Awesome, man. Awesome. Any more questions, guys? Any more questions? Gold thoughts? Uh, I actually have some uh, setups on gold and silver, so I'll be sending those into the levels chat um, tonight, actually. So uh, level uh, indices, commodities, uh, I'll be sending setups into um, the levels chat tonight. So I got I got to keep some things private for the chats. You feel me? You can't give out everything. You can't get out every single place. So if you're not into the levels or the NAS chat, guys, make sure you guys are, are plugged into those chats because... I mean, every a lot of people are catching trades. I can't lie. I mean, everybody, a lot of people are catching trades inside of those, and a lot of those people, keep this in mind, have been have been trading for less than a year, right? These guys are consistent and they're taking it serious, L smart money and levels, right? So I've seen crazy growth, and a lot of people in this last year. So keep it up, guys. I I'm super proud of you guys and. You know, I can't wait to see where year two for you guys is, is is headed. So with that being said, guys, what's the levels chat? Oh, man, Xander, you don't know about the levels chat, bro? Man, can we get a qualification? Let me see. Can, Will, if you can, bro. Actually, let me see. Let me hop off real quick. Oh, yeah, you're asleep, bro. Let me go ahead and, and, and get this. Um, Xander, are you in the qualification chat, bro? All right. Bet I see I see you added him. Bet awesome, Xander. Check out that list, bro. It's gonna get you right. Take detailed notes. It's gonna help you. Um, but with that being said, guys, I hope you guys had a great night. I hope tonight's call helped you guys. I hope you guys got some clicking moments. Um, make sure to trade responsibly this week. If you guys need help with setups, send them in. Tag me. DM me. Let's get these charts right, guys, so we can start catching pips. Um, with that being said, you guys have a great night, man, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace out.